Okay, so I've run over to the military compound, and I'm going to try and uh, get my way in there, and we'll see some uh, we'll see some enemies. Uh, I'm going to run. Where's the mech? Can't see him. Uh, he's around somewhere. Oh, there he is, over the top. Ah, oh, so I'm in third person view at the moment. Um, oh, there's a there's a puppet. Um, Brilliant. Oh, and the mech seen me. Alright, so I better get my spear out. Oh, there's another puppet over there. Uh, yeah, fuck it, let's fight him. Gonna give him a stab with a shitty spear. Oh, and a mech. Um, nope. Everybody wants a piece of me. Try and get inside. Three. Oh no, I'm dead. I am definitely dead. I'm gonna run out of stamina and then they're gonna kill me. Or the mech is gonna get. Oh, fourth one. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, and another mech. Yeah, that's all. I'll see you in this battle. And an exploder. There we go. Um, <laughs> not a good example. So when we die, we have to respawn somewhere. We can respawn in a random location or re respawn in a sector if we have enough money. At, at a shelter if we have one and have enough money. I've got that turned off in the single player um, single player game, but uh, sector would be, you know, I get to choose what sector I want to um, respawn in. I'm gonna respawn in A4 again. So I'm back in my parachute and I'm coming down. Uh, where was I? Yes, yeah, there we go. So over there uh, where my head is, is, is the military compound. So I've very much respawned on the other side of A4. Uh, I'm going to try and land in that village over there. And I'm getting a bit low. Yep, too low, too low, too low. Clunk. Yep, good one, Phil. That was that was pretty neat. Ah, oh, but okay. So I'm I'm bleeding slightly. I'm feeling pain. I'm obviously I'm obviously damaged. So did that on purpose. Uh, go to metabolism and we start to find out about ourselves. So our blood volume's going down and our health is pretty low. Let's go and see what our actual wounds are. Well, apparently all I have is a class one bleeding injury, which is the equivalent of a bruise and a scrape. Um, this will heal itself um, without, you know, without too much um, problems. Here's a little red marker on my foot. That's where the wound is. Uh, possibly this might slow down my my walking speed. There you go. So I'm limping now, um, and you know I've I've started. You know, all my gear is back in that, uh, back on my body over at that uh, location. So you know if I could, wanted to go back there and try and get it, or I'm going to have to you know continue to move to move forward. Um, let me just get some rocks. Get some rocks, create a knife. So I've got an injury. Let's just say it was worse. Let's say I'm bleeding to death. Uh, in my inventory, I might decide, yeah, I'm going to, um, I need some rags. I need to bind my wounds gonna cut up some of my clothes. Now the clothes here uh, have a, have some stats about them, how wet they are, how dirty they are, uh, and the cleaner obviously the better. So these rags have you know 50% dirtiness because we've just dumped them on the ground and cut them up. Um, I'm going to treat my wounds. Oh, it's already self-stabilized, too late. Um, the wound's going through its normal healing process. Uh, on here you can see how much external pathogens I'm taking, how many wound germs I have, what my immune system is taking care of, and so in this case I've got 0.5 of a percent per minute of external pathogens. My immune system is taking care of 0.5 percent per minute external pathogens. So I'm not going to get an infection here. Um, if I take too many wounds and have too many in infectious wounds or wounds that are infected, that will overwhelm your um, 
immune system and then you'll start to actually develop an infection, get sepsis and die if you don't treat it. Brilliant. Um, other things like uh, hypothermia, uh, dehydration, malnutrition, they all affect um, those, those components. Uh, now I'm not going to be able to run until that wound um, heals. Brilliant. But anyway, that gives you an idea of you know how, how the game plays. Um, yeah, I'll push this one up as well. You can have a look.